Alright everyone, welcome back to That Variety Nerd. I'm Christina, and today we are jumping into some Sims 4 goodness with the Sims 4 Realm of Magic. We are finally starting our Let's Play. I'm not anticipating this Let's Play to be super long because it is a game pack, so there's only so much to flesh out. But what I wanted to do is do something a little bit different. I wanted to showcase our wonderful Sims and our characters in this Let's Play. If the lighting gets very weird on the face cam, that's only because I'm recording this before like the afternoon on Friday, so that way I can have time to edit and so, so on and so forth. It's really hot here. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to start out in cast uh, just to show you all some of the new features, some of the new aspirations, and all that good stuff. So there's no new traits or anything like that, but here are the two sims that we are using for our I almost said Island Living Let's Play, or Realm of Magic Let's Play. So we are using the two twin daughters that were born at the end of the Island Living Let's Play. They are all grown up. We did a check-in on Twitch. Um, not too long ago, probably within the last couple of weeks, and so we aged them up, and they've got some interesting traits, and they've got some interesting aspirations and some interesting looks. Uh, so we have Eliana, which I got that right. It took me a while to get it pronounced right. So this is her um, just everyday wear, utilizing some of the new cast stuff, so anything that has a gold star by it, it's cast. It's brand new. We have her formal attire. We have her athletic wear. As you can see, she's really into lots of greens. I realize that she has purple shoes, but it's fine. That's her sleeping apparel. That is her casual party sort of wear. Swimwear. Uh, hot weather attire and also cold weather attire. So let me just go in and fix the shoes on the athletic wear really quickly. Athletic wear is always really hard to pair up in general because of the fact that like there's not a whole lot to really work with at least in my opinion anyway so we can just go in and fix this really quickly not a big deal and you'll see the sharp contrast and styles between her and her sister slash twin so that'll be really nice oh yeah also the cold weather ones also brand new to realm of magic i was kind of mixing and matching packs a little bit so if you're like wait not all this is brand new like hold on to your hold on to your horses people so um serenity her look is a little bit more different, but that's because um, Eliana, she wants to be a purveyor of potions. So that's one of the two new aspirations, which is quite exciting. So purveyor of potions, this sim wants to learn every potions recipe and craft each one. So again, hang on to your butts, people. It's going to be a longer episode, but a good one indeed. And so you saw her traits. She is good. She is a geek and she is a perfectionist, which makes sense because when you're crafting objects, you want to like make sure that they're right. Serenity has the spell spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. This sim craves a deep knowledge of the crane, the arcane magical arts. So she's self-assured, creative, and neat. So here's Serenity, her um, Eliana's twin sister. Well, that's her everyday apparel. As you can see, she's very much into like the darker colors because that's just her vibe. Like, she never left her emo phase. I don't think I've left my emo phase, to be completely honest. That's her sleepwear. That is her s swimwear. I almost said summerwear, but that's a little bit down here. Um, so, again, using some of these new outfits, I think, really helped flush things out. That's her hot weather apparel. So, lots of, like, just darker colors in general. So, I wanted to show you all that before we jumped into the gameplay. They're living in a magic tree house. So, get excited about that. I have the shell of it uploaded onto the gallery, along with the other renovations that we've been covering throughout Realm of Magic. So get excited about that. We'll have one episode today that's a little bit longer and then another episode tomorrow. And then through September, we'll do Tuesday and Thursday uploads. And then October, we'll have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday uploads. So get excited. Anyway, around, let's jump into the gameplay. All right, friendos. So welcome to a Magic Tree House or the Glimmerbrook Tree House as we're referring to this as. So I think I got this a little bit mixed up. So she should be over here. Serenity should be over here. Congratulations, uh, recent birthday, whatever, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this. We're going to go ahead and unlock this. So basically, um, a little bit of a tour. Uh, this is actually going to be Serenity's area, and this is going to be Eliana's. So just to let y'all know about that. But as you can see, we're in the middle of Winterfest. Um, so this is kind of based out of the Island Living Let's Play. Um, save file, so there's that. I have the OG save file. My apologies, the lighting's really weird on the face cam. I feel it. I feel it. But, um, so they don't have a formal bathroom, 
but they do have an outhouse, and I think that's just as important, right? Right. So as you can see, lots of darker wood tones, lots of blues in here. So we'll have everyone but Serenity lock. And then Eliana, same thing over here. But as you can see, there is very they have different personalities for a reason. Um, so I kept the kitchen stuff the same. Um, the general layout is the same. So like, there's a love seat in front of a bed. They have the same furniture, essentially. But since Eliana is more interested in the alchemy side of things, she has a little bit more stuff relating with like knowledge seeking and so forth. Whereas Serenity is more into spellcraft and sorcery. So the first objective for both of them is to become a spellcaster. So as you can see, the first steps are very similar. So they each have to become a spellcaster, travel to the magic realm, learn a potion recipe over here, and then learn a spell. So that's kind of the difference. Um, so we'll kind of go out and see. Um, we'll go take a travel to the magic realm and we'll kind of go from there. So again, my apologies for the weird lighting. There's not a whole lot I can do with it because I'm too freaking terrified to move this computer because I've had it in a decent little position, at least where the chart... Where is this magic realm at? Okay, here we go. So we're going to speedy on through and look at this. Look at this amazing just like view of the magic realm. So we're going to dive into this go nuts with it. At the very least, my goal is to get the aspirations done with this particular pack and hopefully max out those skills. So at the very least, we're going to go ahead and do our best to actually go forth. Okay, wait, why are you not traveling? It's fine. Everything's fine. We're traveling to the magic realm, people. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Enter the portal. Let's go, people. All right, party people. We are here in the magic realm. So as always in my Let's Plays and any sort of content, sit back, enjoy your choice of beverage, and let's hang out. So they're both in the realm of magic. So they traveled to the magic realm, so they got part of their aspiration accomplished. All right, so Morgan is Sage of Untamed Magic, Sage of Mischief Magic, and then... So there's four different types of magic um, and three sages, which makes little to no sense, but everything's fine. But yeah, so we're going to try to find the other sage as well at some point, but I don't know where they're at. Maybe... Yeah, here we go. Simone Silver Sweater. Nice name. So we have the Sage of Practical Magic, and we have... Yeah, so... I think we'll do we'll we'll introduce ourselves to Morgan. Oh Jesus. Okay, I just heard something loud outside. So we'll introduce ourselves to Morgan and then we'll have you introduce yourself to Simoon. So again, they kind of have the backstory behind this is that again, Presley, their mother, she was adopted by Felicity in the Island Living Let's Play, but we don't really know too much. So the magical trait apparently missed out on Presley and went to her two twin daughters. So we're going to focus on one at a time and kind of go from there. So you have to basically build the friendship up. You can't just dive in, go nuts. You have to build up that friendship. So we're going to do a heartful compliment, brighten their day, like be really friendly. They're both generally pretty friendly people. So... Yeah, that's kind of exciting. So we're going to gossip. We're going to do a heartfelt compliment. We're going to brighten day. I totally forgot to set a timer, but this episode's not timed. The main goal is that we become spellcasters and just kind of hopefully get this first chunk of the aspiration done. Why are they talking about woohoo? That's kind of concerning. So yeah, um, that's really exciting. Uh, so talk about... Oh my god, did you all just see that in the background? That's actually really funny. Okay, so let's check in with you over here. We're just going back and forth because you have to build that friendship up before you ask them to become a spellcaster, so. Okay, who's calling whom? Congratulations on your recent birthday. Yeah, cool, whatever. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you are prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. So they're both trying to get 
they're both trying to become spellcasters. Oh. Okay, in order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. So the spell is eight hours long, which not too shabby, not too bad. So as you can see, we get these magical orbs. And so we have to collect these different moats that are around the realm. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes um, having two people do this at the same time in your household. So I don't know how it's going to work, but it's set around the realm. So we're going to have them go and collect some of these. Right, right. Right, so you need to go. We're going to focus on Eliana first because she was the first one that came up in the dialogue box. Um, and then Serenity, um, you're going to have an interesting time because you're going to have to go different routes. So you're going to collect the moats over here, collect the moats over here. Uh, okay, I guess it kind of goes off the grid a little bit. Oh, interesting. So... Serenity's going to have a little bit more of an interesting time to get these, to say the least, because she has to get a little creative in how she gets these. Alright, so here's the thing, too, about the realm. You can only travel to, like, certain portions at a time. There's, like, a way to do it, and I don't know where it's at. I think, yeah, here we go. So you have to travel between these different little, like, bridges almost. So that's kind of where we're going. So how are you doing over here? To be fair, we could have just had one of them become a spellcaster and then turn the other one into spellcaster, but that's kind of advanced, right? Okay, how many do we have? I totally lost track. Do we have seven? I feel like we got seven. Okay, where's a uh, Simone at? No, that's Daryl. All right, Simone, where are you at? Where are you at, my brother or sister? I don't know. Where are you at? Okay, there you are. I think we've got it. Oh, that's going to be a good screen cap. Okay. Oh, God. Sorry, everyone. This is a very important moment, and I feel like we need to capture it accordingly. Right? Right. So we're going to take a look and see how this goes. Ooh, good lord, sounds like Harry Potter music. Eliana is now a spellcaster. You can view her spell book by opening the perks panel or by clicking it on the button in this window. So I'll do that in just a second, but as you can see, the plum bob is a little bit different. I didn't, you know, I usually get rid of this plum bob because it's like aesthetically a little bit more pleasing. I know you're tired. I know you're feeling like hot garbage, but you're getting there. So she is officially a spellcaster. Oh, God. Okay, uh, you, you're going to be just fine. So we're going to change your outfit into something a little bit more practical, right? Right. So we'll have you collect your moat. Okay, I don't know how many we've got so far, but we're getting there. Right, right. We can always check in with Morgan, right? But just in case, we definitely got at least four. So we got five. Okay, how much longer do we got? Okay, we got six hours. That's not too bad. Five, six, and seven. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need that many more, which is quite, quite great. Okay, so we got five. We need two more. Then we get to turn these into Morgan. Oh, okay, so if you hover over the turn in moats, it's going to give you, like, a total count, which is quite which is quite nice. So, let's go turn these in. Hopefully we can turn them in. Yes. So, Serenity is going to be the second one to become a spellcaster. So, both of the girls are going to become spellcasters. Why is this being stupid and not letting us see anything? So yeah, we're going to go chat with Morgan again. All right, so we got two spellcasters in the family. All right. So this is the glimmer stone, which I'm guessing is something that's going to be very important in our journey. Uh, so we'll sell these because they're old homeworks, right? And we need every little bit of money that we can get. And so... <laughs> 
I don't blame you. Spell casting is exhausting. So they're both really tired. They both need hunger and like to, you know, get their needs up and stuff. So you need to learn a spell, but how do we do that? Oh yeah, so here's how we access it, I think. So let's see here. Wait, why are you not a spellcaster? I thought you were a spellcaster. You are a spellcaster, but it's like, okay, whatever. It's fine. Oh, that's because I'm not underneath needs. Whoopsies! <laughs> okay, so here are the spellcaster perks. So if you're familiar with the Vampire's Pack, this is sort of like what you're going for here. So it's very much like that in that regard. So, sorry, my phone was like blowing up for no reason whatsoever. So these are going to be... I don't know what these are. I think they're specializations and different perks. I'm not 100% sure. Practice practicality. So you have three different branches over here. So you have Master Duelist, you have Potent Potables, and Magical Renaissance. So that's kind of like the base here. So Knowledge is Magic, Lender Arm, Discharge. So these are kind of like the different sort of perks. Uh, so within that, I think the notebook is where we go for the actual thing, if I remember correctly. We'll take a look see. Or not. All right. How do we get to that? By the way, I'm trying to remember. So open spell book. So as you can see, there's four different paths here, so or the schools of magic, and if you click on them, it'll take you directly to that, which is really really cool. So, we have Practical Magic, we have Mischief Magic, we have Untamed Magic, and we have Alchemy. So, Alchemy um, is going to go for Eliana, and so Serenity, I think, is going to go more for the Chief, Mischief Magic and Untamed Magic. So, she's going to be a little bit more untamed, a little bit more wild, but that's kind of cool with me. So, we're going to just like get rid of all these different notifications, because like that's just how the cookie crumbles. We're just going to keep these open because I don't know how to access the spell book. Oh, here we go. Open spell book. There we go. So if you go into the corner, it'll give you the option to open spell book so you can kind of keep track over there. So how do we learn our first spell? The spellcaster's journey would not be complete without access to an arsenal of varied potent spells. Search for tombs, for tomes in the magic realm or ask powerful spellcasters to teach you their secrets. So you were kind of like brought into this crazy world by Morgan. So let's see if we can find Morgan. Maybe have them ask um, or have them teach us something. Or we could try the rest of the world and explore the rest of the world. You are more into the practical magic. So we'll have you... Okay, so if you don't want to become a spellcaster anymore, you can ask for Rite of Disillusion. You can do a magic duel, you can teach to ask to teach practical magic, potion recipes. So I'll have you ask for the potion recipes. But I think it'd be really cool to kind of just go to different areas of the magic realm. So let's, okay, that's the dueling ground. There's a marketplace somewhere, but I'm trying to remember, like, how do we even get there? Go to gardens. Oh, okay, so there's different portals. That makes sense. Oh, okay, so you have to build, like, okay, we'll go to Caster's Alley. That's kind of the next one. So there's a garden, the ground, the dueling grounds, and also Caster's Alley. So if you're familiar with the Harry Potters, the Harry Potters, the Harry Potter series, then you'll be familiar with, like, Diagon Alley, which is kind of what I'm guessing that they were loosely branching this off from. So you're going to go there, and then we're going to go home because we need to take care of everybody's needs. But... Um, we'll learn a spell, we'll learn some potions, but in the end, I'm very comfortable leaving this off as soon as we kind of get back home after we're done in the magic realm. So there's that. So we're going to take control of our good pal. Oh, okay, cool. That works. So you don't have to worry about loading screens or anything like that. So as you can see, there's different types of stalls here. So you can buy potion ingredients over here. You can get brooms and crystals. You can get wands, tombs, and familiars. And we only have like $200 to our name, which is rich. So, again, we're trying, my dudes. We are trying. So, we'll go ahead. Maybe time to haggle. We'll get wands, tombs, and familiars. Do we have a wand or anything like that? We do not. We just have the glimmer stone. So, yeah, there's like ghosts that are just sort of chilling over here. So, there's that. Or there's spirits, rather. So we're going to go ahead. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm like, please do what I tell you to do. Oh, 
right. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we totally forgot about that. So by wands, tombs, and familiars, or tomes and familiars. So we'll try to see what's like least expensive. That's just kind of where we are. So as you can see, um, there's different tombs to read, which is kind of cool. Um, so as you can see, there are like different ranks essentially. But generally speaking, so ancient wood wand crafted with the methods of old this ancient wand harkens back to a simpler time a wand when wands didn't represent your wealth or status but your passion for the magical arts wand of astral creation forged out of moonstones and imbued by ash with astral vapors this wand holds the power to a million galaxies marble wand far more sturdy than the wood wand and bone wand the marble wand is encrusted with an elemental gem and markings of elegance so that's kind of cool uh, we'll kind of just do these ancient wood wands. We'll get like four because we're paranoid. All right, so we're going to have you also check out the brooms and crystals area. We'll give you one. She's like about to pass out. It's fine. So as you can see, we can get rocket brooms, which is really, really cool. Um, there are a thousand simoleons each, so that's quite a bit. Uh, we'll take a look at the potion ingredients, just in case. So I want to make sure that we at least kind of travel to the realm of magic, became a spellcaster, kind of did that sort of walkthrough. Ooh, you can actually purchase the death flower. That's really interesting. So yeah, as you can see, there's some ingredients here. Not a whole lot happening. So on that note, we're actually going to take these girls home. And we're actually going to go ahead and end the episode right here. So we, this episode, we became a spellcaster. Uh, we did a bit of a house tour. We did a bit of a makeover. Introduced our characters, that sort of thing. So I hope you all are enjoying the series so far. This is something that I've wanted to do for a little while, but haven't had the time to do it. So on that happy note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, we are going to be doing another episode tomorrow and then we start doing Tuesday Thursday uploads in September and then we'll do Tuesday Wednesday and Saturday no Tuesday Thursday and Saturday uploads in October uh, all that information is going to be on my YouTube channel description so get excited about that and stay tuned for the next episode we'll be diving into some more spellcaster stuff and kind of go from there so that happy note thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all later bye everyone